Hi, I'm Randy Groff with Tack Veins. I want to just go through and fletch one complete arrow, and I'm just going to walk through some of the steps that I like to make sure that you really take um, to get the perfect adhesion that we typically have with our veins. Um, so in this case, we're going to use a Bitsenberger jig. I have already got the jig fully set up as we've, we've talked about in previous videos on how to set them, get it to where the helical clamp is being used, and it's going to not rock when you have it fully seated. Um, so first step is always to load the vein, leaving just about an eighth inch gap from the edge of the vein base to the edge of the clamp. That's going to allow the vein to contour really well to the shaft before you apply that pressure. So step one is always going to be a primer pen. Once you have the vein loaded in there, I like to check the moisture content on the primer pen. You can't physically see it going on, so you, you check the moisture level at that point. Make just one swipe of the primer pen, just from one end to the other. You don't need to scrub, you don't need to go back and forth. Um, you do want to follow it immediately with glue. So if you take your glue and apply it in just one straight bead, I like to start about a quarter inch down from this edge and end about a quarter inch from this edge because that glue is always going to come out the ends no matter what. It's going to come out the trough. So if you have it right on the very edge, it's all going to go to the clamp and, and stick to your stuff rather than you know using it for on the vein itself. Um, so prime it, glue it immediately after, stick and hold for five seconds. You should not need to stick any longer than that. So if you're trying to hold it longer because they didn't stick, it means the jig probably needs adjusted. 98% of the time, that's an adjustment to the jig that it needs. Um, so I like to wipe the excess off with excess glue with a Q-tip. And if you take your Q-tip and actually roll it as you wipe, it's going to eliminate you know plowing all that glue down at the end. Because oftentimes you'll find that you're going to get glue on the vein itself or you'll get extra glue on the shaft that just isn't necessary. So that will really help to make a nice clean fletch job. Same thing, loading it in there, eighth inch gap. Um, check my primer pen. It's a little bit small, so I would even probably press that down just a little bit and check it again. And now I can see that it's a little bit bigger. Ideally, you don't want that to be over like five sixteenths in diameter. A quarter inch is great. Um, same thing, applying the glue about a quarter inch down making one straight bead from one end to the other. Wiggle your knock receiver. Um, those of us who have been fletching a long time, you're gonna know that right off the bat. Stick and hold that for five seconds. It generally can be faster than that. Um, our glue is very fast and we do advertise five seconds because it legitimately can do that as long as you've got a perfect seal. That's, the, that's really the key. So anybody that's having problems with our vein, you know, getting it to stick to the shaft. 99% of the time, the offset of the jig would have needed to adjust it slightly, or frankly, it might not be just, it might be just an issue of not following some of the instructions we've got. Obviously, we're not all gonna first thing read the instructions, but it does help. So, going through this one more time to do our final vein, prime it, glue it within the first 10 seconds. You can't pre-prime veins or anything. That primer will only last about 20 seconds on that vein and it's like you didn't prime it at all. The, the plastic will actually heal itself by that point and not allow the glue to penetrate. So same thing, we're just holding that on there for five seconds of pressure and pulling that clamp off. I do wipe the clamp just to eliminate glue. The longer it's on there, the harder it is to get off. Same thing with the excess here is if you leave that on there longer, it's just that much harder to get back off. So if you can wipe it sooner than later, that would definitely be helpful. So right now we got a perfectly fletched arrow on a three degree, two and a half to three degree left helical. It's gonna work great.